Another thing I like to chat with you guys about is hip fractures. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but every year, 300,000 older men and women fall and break their hips. And that's just a terribly high number. That's just insane to me. Unfortunately, my dad was one of those, and we went on the tumultuous ride of trying to get him to reach back to the level he was prior to breaking his hip, and we just never were able to do that. Uh, he lived a couple of years, and then he passed away. And so breaking a hip is not for the faint of heart. It's hard, especially as you're older. So just talking about how can we assist our aging parents, I just want to share the fact that more women as they age have hip fractures than men. And why is that, guys? Why do you think that is? I personally, this is my personal opinion, I think it's because men eat more protein and that they lift heavy things. You know, they, they do heavy things where females a lot of times do not do that. And especially as we get older, people tend to do less of the things maybe even they did as, as a younger woman. Just things happen. You, know, you have a neck injury or something happens and you're in your 50s. You're like, well, I can't do that anymore. And we stop doing those things and we don't realize, and I'm speaking for myself even, that when you hit 30, you start losing quite a bit of muscle, muscle strength. And you just it's, it just continues as we age. So if we're not doing something to promote strengthening our, our bones and our muscles, then that only makes sense that they're going to get weaker and weaker. Now, my dad, let's take him for example real quick. I know he's a man and I'm talking about women, but I will say at his peak, probably weighed 2, 10, 6, 4, muscled guy. Always did hard work. Strong man, okay? He was a manly man. And as he got older and he had some difficult had some difficulties with cardiovascular difficulties and had a few heart attacks, they changed the way they were eating. He started walking three miles a day. He probably when he broke his hip weighed one sixty eight soaking wet. So Daddy was just a really skinny man. So when he fell, skin and bones, and he just, it just broke. He just fractured that hip. So for females, that happens for us a lot more than males. And if I would have known, I would have had him lifting weights. You know, you don't know to do what you don't know to do. So I want to help you to know, hey, there are things that you can do preventatively, proactively to help your parents not go through what my dad had to go through as a result of breaking a hip in his 70s. So I highly encourage, if you have a mom and a dad, again, if they're over 36 years of age, but especially if they're in their 50s, 60s, even 70s, increase their protein. Not just a little bit, but quite a bit. And we'll talk in our podcast more about how much that is and what that should look like. But I will suggest a book by Dr. Gabrielle Lyons, L-Y-O-N-S, Forever Strong. Great book. She talks all about how much protein we should have, and why we ladies should do more strength training. Guys should do it too, but we should do it as well. Lifting weights, heavy things to build, help with our bone density, but also to help build muscle strength so that if we did happen to fall, we wouldn't potentially break anything and that we would be okay. So that's the goal, right? To try to prevent things from happening or even if we did fall, maybe that we wouldn't break something. And then if we did fracture something, we would have so much, um, what is it, packing in the system. Of we've, we've worked really hard to get stronger, that we recover more quickly. So that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. It's something I had no idea about when my dad broke his hip. And I think that would have helped us at some level with his recovery if I would have known some of these things. So I just wanted to hop on to share that with you.